ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are jumping into lesson 8-3, our last lesson, which is on measures of variability, which we, we've already covered the first part of, um, which was range. And now we're going to do, in box and whisker plots, and now we're going to do mean absolute deviation. Um, so let's go over our box and whisker plots from last time first. Um, so if it will go, there we go. So the first practice problem was draw a box plot. So um, first you needed to find your five number summary. So I always start with the min and the max or the upper extreme and the lower extreme and then find your median and then you can find your two quartiles. And so it should have looked like this. Number two, again, um, find your five number summary and then plot it. So it should have looked like this. And then number three, you had four questions you had to answer. What is the most pencils someone has in their desk? That would be the max, which is 12. What is the range where you do 12 minus zero, which is 12? Um, what percent of students have more than four? So four is right here. So this is 25% and 25%, which is 50% because that's right in the middle. So 50% of the students have more than four. And then what is the interquartile range? You take Q3 minus Q2, so six minus two, and you get four. Okay, so let's go into what exactly we're studying. Again, measures of variability are um, range, interquartile range, and mean absolute deviation, how much your data varies or spreads out, what's its variability. Measures of center were mean, median, and mode, the three ends. So let's get into it. Mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value from the mean. So the first step is you find your mean, then you find how far everything is, all of the data is from the mean, then you find the mean again. So mean, subtract, mean, okay? So let's practice. I have this printed, so we're gonna go through it together. Okay, so first you find the mean. So first find mean. So you're gonna add all of these together and then divide by how many there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you take your calculator and you add them all together. So can you still see me okay? Okay. So 69 plus 70 plus 72 plus 73 plus 73 plus 73 plus 74 plus 75 plus 75 plus 76. You get 730. And then you divide that by 10. So you get the mean for the average. is 73. So then what you do is you take each of these numbers and find out how far, so here's first, second, find difference from 73. So find out how far each of these numbers from 73. So I'm literally going to do this for you, like right here. You don't really have to write all of this out every time, but I just want to show you exactly what you're doing. So I just wrote out all the numbers here so that you could see. Um, and we only want only positive. So you'll take the absolute value if it ends up being a negative number, okay? So you're just trying to figure out how far away these are from each other. So like you can literally use your calculator if you want or if you can just see it. I mean, either way, you can see that the, what the answer is gonna be. And then since we only want the positive, we're going to keep it as 4. Okay? So 70 minus 73 is negative 3, but we're going to keep that as 3. 
72 minus 73 is negative 1, but we're going to keep it as 1. This is 0, 0, 0, because 73 take away 73 is 0. 74 minus 73 is 1. 75 minus 73 is 2, 2. And then 76 minus 73 is 3. So then step 3, third, find mean again. So now your last step, add these numbers up together and divide by 10. So 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 10. Four plus three plus one plus zero plus zero plus zero. You don't really need to do that. Plus one plus two plus two plus three divided by ten. You end up getting one point six. So the mean absolute deviation is one point six. That's our answer. So what this number means is it's the average of how far away each of these numbers is from the mean. So on average, all of our data is only about 1.6 data, data steps on the number line away from our average. So that's what this number means. Mean, average, absolute, like absolute value, only the positive numbers, deviation, how far. Like when someone says you deviated from the plan or you're such a deviant, that means you're going away from whatever the original plan was or whatever the original rule was. So now let's do another one. Manager Chris counted the number of innings each shark pitcher pitched during the tournament. Nick pitched 11 innings. Evan pitched 5 innings. Nakai pitched 12 innings. Sean pitched 7 innings. And Matthew pitched 5 innings. Find the mean absolute deviation of the data set. So first, I am so sorry, guys. So first, you need to find the mean. So add them all up. Ooh, did I do anything? No? OK. 11 plus 5 plus 12 plus 7 plus 5 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 11 plus 5 plus 12 plus seven plus five divided by five, we get eight. Okay, so now you're gonna take each of these numbers and figure out how far away they are from eight. So 11 minus eight, five minus eight, 12 minus eight, um, seven minus eight, and five minus eight. Remember, only take the positive numbers. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. 5 minus 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. That's negative 3, which is the same as 3. Um, this is 4. This is negative 1, which we're also looking at as 1. And then again, negative 3, which is 3. So we're going to add them together, these numbers, and find the mean again. 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus one plus three and divide it by five. So three plus three plus four plus one plus three um, divided by five, we get 2.8. So the mean absolute deviation equals 2.8. Okay, last practice problem I have for us is this one right here. The table shows the amount of money raised by the homerooms for two um, grade levels at a middle school. Find the mean absolute deviation for each set of data. So let's find the mean of each side. Oh, I just spelled it wrong. <laughs> it's not even a hard word. You can tell I'm almost ready for school to be over, huh? Okay, so let's find the mean. 88 plus 116 plus 94 plus 108 plus 112 plus 124, and then divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
and you get 107 on this side, and then the mean on the other side, 144 plus 91 plus 97 plus 122 plus 128 plus 132, and divided by 6, and you get 119 on this side, okay? So then we're gonna subtract each of these minus 107, minus 107, minus 107, minus 107, minus 107, minus 107. Okay, 88 minus 107, negative 19, or we know that's positive 19. Um, 116 minus 107 is nine. 94 minus 107 is negative 13, or we're gonna think of it as 13. Um, this is just one. 112 minus 107 is five. And then 124 minus 107 is 17. So here are our new numbers. We're gonna find the mean absolute deviation of this set is 19 plus nine, plus 13, plus one, plus five, plus 17, divided by six, and we get 10.6 repeating, or 10.67. This side, we're subtracting 119, minus 119, minus 119, minus 119, minus 119, minus 119. Okay, so 144 minus 119, is 25, 91 minus 119 is negative 28, or 28, um, 97 minus 119 is negative 22, or 22, 122 minus 119 is 3, um, 128 minus 119 is 9, and 132 minus 119 is 13. So here are our new numbers for this side. So we'll add 25 plus 28 plus 22 plus 3 plus 9 plus 13 and divide by 6. And we get mean absolute deviation equals 16.67. So what does this tell us? It tells us in sixth grade, the amount of money raised for each homeroom is a lot closer to the average, whereas this is a little bit more varied. Each of the homerooms were away from the average by about 16.67 data points away. So that's that. Those are our practice problems. Go back and watch that part of the video again if you need more help or as you're doing these practice problems. Please write these down in your notebook, pause this video, make sure you do these examples because I'm going to go over them at the beginning of class on Friday. Oh, I'm frozen up here. Oh, please don't mess up. Okay, I'm back. Not frozen anymore. Okay, I was almost afraid I had to re-record everything. Find the mean absolute deviation of the data set 65, 66, 68, 69, 69, 70, 70, 70 71, 72. Um, number two, Zana counted the number of apples on each of the apple trees in her backyard. I don't know if Zana has apple trees, but she has been trying to grow a lot of things in her backyard. So she found 34 apples on her Cortland apple tree, 29 apples on her Red Delicious apple tree, 39 apples on her Empire apple tree, and 34 apples on her Fuji, Fiji, Fuji, I think it's Fuji, apple tree. Find the mean absolute deviation of the data set, so make sure you do that one. And then last but not least, the table shows the number of points scored each game for two different basketball teams. Find the mean absolute deviation for each set of data. So that's your last practice problem. So make sure you do these three practice problems. We'll go over them at the beginning of the lesson on Friday. And then no video lesson tomorrow. Um, please ch check the weekly agenda because I'm going to post the quizzes for you guys to do. And I'll post it early if you want to get it done on Wednesday instead of waiting for Thursday. But there we go. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your day.